Welcome to the Auto Moto Freak Channel. Greetings to all viewers, subscribers, supporters. So to the point, wet belt engines, a design where the timing belt runs inside the engine's oil sump, are a topic of much debate. They can be a source of significant reliability issues, but these problems often stem from a combination of design flaws and a misunderstanding of their specific maintenance requirements. What is a wet belt engine? A wet belt engine utilizes a timing belt that is lubricated by the engine oil. This is different from a traditional timing belt, which runs dry outside the engine, and a timing chain, which is also lubricated by oil, but is made of metal. The wet belt design was developed to offer the low friction benefits of a belt drive, while also providing the durability and quietness of a chain system. The design flaw. The primary design flaw lies in the interaction between the belt and the engine oil. Over time, modern, low-viscosity oils and the additives they contain can cause the rubber compound of the belt to degrade. This degradation leads to a number of problems. Belt failure. The most catastrophic issue is the belt breaking, which can cause severe, irreparable engine damage. Oil sump contamination. As the belt breaks down, microscopic pieces of rubber shed into the engine oil. This debris can clog the oil pickup strainer, starving the engine of oil and leading to catastrophic failure. Reduced oil pressure. The clogged oil strainer restricts the flow of oil, leading to a drop in oil pressure. This can cause premature wear on other engine components, such as bearings and turbochargers. The misunderstanding. A significant portion of the issues with wet belt engines can be attributed to a misunderstanding of their specific maintenance needs. Service intervals. Many car owners and even some mechanics fail to adhere to the manufacturer's strict service intervals for both oil changes and belt replacement. The wet belt is designed to last longer than a traditional dry belt, but it is not a lifetime component and must be replaced as per the manufacturer's schedule which is often around 60,000 to 100,000 miles, depending on the manufacturer. Oil specifications. These engines are highly sensitive to the type and quality of engine oil. Using an incorrect or low-quality oil can accelerate the belt's degradation. The belt's material is specifically designed to work with a particular oil formulation, and using a different one can cause a chemical reaction that weakens the belt. Contamination. Other contaminants, like fuel from direct injection systems, can also find their way into the oil and degrade the belt. Short, stop-and-go trips can exacerbate this issue as the engine doesn't get hot enough to burn off these contaminants. In conclusion, while there are inherent design challenges with wet belt engines, their failure is often a result of a combination of these challenges with a lack of adherence to specific maintenance requirements. The responsibility lies with both the manufacturer to create a more robust design and with the owner to follow the maintenance schedule meticulously. Thank you for watching the video, and I invite you to subscribe to the Auto Moto Freak channel. Greetings to everyone, and see you in the next episode. See you soon.